Well, let's talk still about health, this time about HIV. Her father was HIV positive, but for fear of stigmatization, he kept his status secret from everyone, including his wife. Whilst he secretly took medication, he kept having unprotected sex with his wife. He took his secret to the grave, and Aisha, not her real name, is a product of that affair. She now bears the brunt of that decision. She was born HIV positive, but was diagnosed at eight after spending three years in a mission house. Even then, Aisha was still not aware of her status until age 15. Faustina Safo has the rest of the story in uh, excerpt of our latest hotline documentary, My Status. Aisha's fate was decided at birth. Both parents had HIV. So Aisha was born HIV positive. At age three, Aisha's father died. Her mother relocated to a different town, leaving her with her aunt in Kumasi. They could die almost three years. And so on, I saw for no catch me, me auntie, say, Now, who pay your chance, say, HIV, ne harm me. Now, so for now, I'm cast my peepers be or try hospital in the peepers near the call. I go, I told so I go, hospital, some coach, I am Panamo HIV. At the time, Aisha was too young to comprehend what she was going through. So her aunt kept it a secret until she became a teenager. When it comes to children, you can't disclose to a child that is three years or ten years. It's whereby the child is from 12 years up to 20 years. That's where you can disclose the person's HIV status to her. Aisha is now living with her uncle here in Accra. She dropped out of school due to stigma. In Ghana, the first case of HIV was recorded in 1986. Since then, the number of infected persons have risen steadily. In 2013, the United Nations introduced what it calls the 1990 Agenda in an attempt to get the epidemic under control. The idea is that by 2020, 90% of people who are HIV infected will be diagnosed. 90 of those diagnosed will be on antiretroviral treatment. And 90 of those on treatment will be virally suppressed reducing the spread of the infection. Ghana is struggling to achieve the target. Director of the Ghana AIDS Commission, Stephen Shreme Etwahene, explains why. So far, um, for the first 90, that which relates to know your status, we we have achieved 66.5 percent. So all persons, 66.5 percent of all persons living with HIV in Ghana uh, knows their, their status. For the second 90, we have achieved 45.5 percent, which means 45.5% of people who know their status are on treatment. And why is that? A number of reasons can, be, uh, can explain this situation. Number one is the fact that many people are in denial, as I said earlier on. Uh, many also would want a permanent solution. Um, instead of taking medicines every day or being on treatment for life, they will want a cure. To prevent future rise in infection, Mr. Tremi says every Ghanaian has a role to play. You can 
prevent HIV only when you know your status. If you don't know that you have HIV and you say, oh, you are preventing it, when in fact you have the virus already, um, it will be a useless effort. And so it is important for everybody to test first. Entry comes up later tonight here on the Joy News channel put together by Faustina.